This is the first time there's been off-season rumors where it's truly the off-season for all 30 teams as with the World Series over, it is fully into the off-season now with new trades and signings. So to start, I'm going to be talking about a couple ace caliber pitchers that could be on the move this off-season. Now starting things off, there's some reports from USA Today saying GMs expect guys like Shane Bieber, Corbin Burns, and Tyler Glass. Now I'm going to be talking about this, the last two that could be available for for trade gms expect those guys could be available for trade or had at the right price now corbin burns you're talking about a situation with the brewers that is uncertain for the future it's uncertain how they're going to pay him or if they're going to be able to pay him his asking price coming up here soon so maybe they could look to get ahead of it and trade him just like they did with josh Hayter a couple years ago and then for tyler glass now in the Rays, this seems like a situation that was inevitable because when he was coming back from tommy john they signed him to a two-year extension, an extension that paid him a little amount of money in year one, but then increased to $25 million in year two. So year two is what a lot of people were looking at as a possibility to, of when they could look to trade glass now. So the rumors have been swirling. And according to sources like the LA Times or Bob Nightingale, teams like the Los Angeles Dodgers and Boston Red Sox could be in the market for an ace caliber pitcher, such as one of glass now, Burns, maybe Shane Bieber involved, maybe Yoshinobu Yamamoto involved as well. That makes sense. These are their two big market teams. The Red Sox, they want to get back in the playoffs. And the Dodgers, they got eliminated in the playoffs. And the big reason was lack of starting pitching. They were rolling out Bobby Miller, Clayton Kershaw, and Lance Lynn. That didn't work out too well. So I think you can keep an eye out on the Red Sox and the Dodgers to look to really bolster their pitching staffs. Earlier today, there was a big report in The Athletic that was saying the Padres had to take out a loan for about $50 million in September to address short-term cash flow issues and meet their obligations, including player payroll. So it seems like there's been a bunch of signs hinting towards the Padres wanting to lower their payroll to around that $200 million range, and everyone was asking the question, where is this money coming from? And apparently the Padres were running low on money, so if enough signs haven't pointed to it already, I think this is another big indicator on what the Padres could look to do this offseason. It's not going to be like last offseason where they're signing more guys to big contracts. I think it might be the opposite. You look at a couple impending free agents like Blake Snell and Josh Hader. Blake Snell, he's going to want to going to get one of the bigger contracts in the winter because he's about to win his second Cy Young. Josh Hader, one of the best closers in baseball. He's probably going to be looking closer to a hundred million dollar range, like a guy like Edward. When Diaz got last offseason. So now all of a sudden, if they're trying to lower their payroll, all of a sudden those two both seem unlikely to return to San Diego. And then you look at Juan Soto, who's in the last year of his deal. You can maximize his value and get some assets in return from him, some young controllable assets. So all of a sudden, that looks like that could be a realistic and almost likely possibility as well. So with the Padres having some problems with their payroll and definitely making it a point of emphasis to lower it, I feel like Blake. Blake Snell and Josh Hader, it would be a surprise if they re-signed, and at this point, it might be in their best interest to definitely trade Juan Soto.